<laughs> yeah, we're totally gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Or, hang on to something! Crashing, we're dying. Again, right there. Like, I can't. Why can't they turn? Get out of the damn way. Oh my god, guys! into fin fight boom nobody's crashing oh we're crashing these peaks are trek whoa Flark! just trying to slow us down fear fear stop yelling fear watch out for the thing peter which thing please You're a little pretty this time, and it's ah. Flark! Oh, you fool! No, no! Stabilizers are shot. Repair systems are overloaded. If we are destined to crash, try at least to crash into Finfight Foom. 
Nobody's crashing. You guys, I'm trying to stay as high as possible. These peaks are oh. Flark. Just trying to slow us down. Like here, I don't get it. You want me to go through there? We don't have any other options. That's good. It's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> well, this is how Quill parks anyways. <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Where's Llama? The Llama. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Hellbender to help us bust the church mm -hmm. a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So traju to pluk, Heldagor Morgath, Soltas Flandergath. Really? We're doing this? Targath Gonot Kol, Bol Malki Ultath. Both I'm cold, Gal Mac. Targat gold, the coal, Volmaki Utah. Gat and cold, Gal Mac. Pelma fin sardu. Jesus, this guy is crazy. I'm going out of here. All right, let's do this. Which is it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me, or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no Foom Poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers, testaments to the bravery of those who came before. By bravery, you mean glorious death. And what do these hunt markers look like? Like great stakes planted with honor and in service of redemption. Sticks in the ground. Got it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Christian. I'm back with like the game channel. Wine? I just heard it. Not my voice. I mean, from the Milano. In that case, no. Teeter art game on with Teen, and I'm sitting here doing the legends of raining fire are true. Garden of the galaxy. Well, as long as it's glorious. As always, thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos. Good or bad guys on the screen. There's only one noble way to die on Mach 4. So many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die. No one's dying. We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? 
Maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Looks like a dead end. Glorious dead end. Gotta admit, I kinda love how excited you are about all this. All right, Drax. Let's channel some of that excitement towards okay, the rock. Okay, so this will be locked in 21, I mean. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. I am Groot? Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. You think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything? It's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> you can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? Air Katath. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foon? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle a truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah! Part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. I mean walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy. Makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chow. If we all die, we will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. Thanos would have loved this planet. <laughs> okay, T. If we can't make quick work of this thing, then we got no right going after Fin Fang Foom. Well said, Peter Quill. We must first prove our worth! Blow the way, Rocket! Stop being positive, mean! And smelly, girl! Inverting the future T line will expose its weakness! If you 
breathe in the better. What the fuck? Mushrooms aren't usually this tough. Its stomach appears soft and butterful. Too bad food didn't need this thing before we got here. This beast is a mere appetizer for the great Finn Fang Foo. I got all these toys, I'm just dying for you! Ain't nothing getting through! This has I got am my trying name on to it. destroy! Yeah. I shall break them! The enemy proves persistent! of so many of my people. Guess that makes us honorary Catapians. Here, okay. Quill, it is best to avoid the creature's breath. Guys, huddle up! Oh, no, Jesus. I know! It's like they want me to keep blowing him up. And I gotta admit, every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Guys, come on! These goons aren't gonna take us out because we're better than them. And this is our time. Our time for what? To prove it! Who's with me? That was the most the hell battle. <laughs> Careful! Danger close, Rocket! Punch him up! Oh, he's like a walking pile of pimples! So let's pop it already! Hey! We're here for food! Not for you! Don't think he understands you, Rocket! So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I figured. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Gamora. I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foom's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. The legends do tell that Fin Fang Foom stalking Haku's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. So, are we sure the Milano's gonna be okay? Because if we end up stranded here... <gasps> Flark and Halla! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here too. Just not sure how. Looks like there might be a ledge hiding under all those rocks on the other side. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. <laughs> how about Quill? Come on, it's not so bad. His fleshy frame would make a poor instrument of demolition. Thanos once told me about a planet he found ravaged by Fin Fang Foom. Bodies not just eaten, but scrambled. Splashed across the landscape like some kind of twisted painting. Sounds completely horrible. He said he found it pleasing to the eye. 
I'm glad he's dead. Allegedly. Okay. I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. what he's up to yeah crushing us all final step drax if we can topple some of those rocks <laughs> glorious i swear i've never seen you in such a good mood because you have never seen me on the great hunt before what about our quarantine zone mission drax i know you've been waiting for this a long time enjoy it man thank you peter quill i must admit that with everything that has happened i need this yeah well Maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom... Then we'd probably be dead. We so weren't ready before. I was born ready. What's with all them rectangles? Monoliths. Fine. What's with all them monoliths? It's possible they are ley lines, which may lead us directly to Fin Fang Foom. <laughs> Get ready. There's something up ahead. Pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great. More foom food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it will be an honorable fight. I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let us hope we are not too late. There. See? More... Ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. Smart ones do. Ark! Way too <laughs> close. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Oh, it's Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Careful. That's deadly gas. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for you. For the last time, Drax, we're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. <sighs> Seems complicated. How do you know? Hello? He's an assassin? So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax. We're not killing Fin Fang Foom. 
We're catching him to give the lady hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. <sighs> Seems comfortable. Are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold us up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me. Mora, you do it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've got just the Drax for this. Let us see you do this, rodent. Instead of giving her boom, any chance Lady A. In the initiative. <laughs> this looks sturdy enough for an anchor. Sure, just tell me where. <laughs> Knock it down, Drax. Shall be no more. More resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Honestly, after everything we've been through, there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. Whoa! 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 Morgan, Maclu! Maclu poor! You must be fair! Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Pell muffin sardu, jud kain agol tau, god and kogal mag. Boom! It's foam! Yes! Or going to go a huge flarkin rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Sotra! 
Fin Fang Foom, you seen him? <coughs> Big wings, nasty teeth, purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Fortune smiles upon us this Whoa. day, my friends. Melt that one, too. And that one. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often? That's not how it works. It's when people I care about are in danger, and then I get this feeling. Oh, I get it. It's like uh, faith energy. No, it's not like... Relax. I believe you. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. That ain't water. <coughs> well, does it burn? It, it's so... gloopy. I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltonator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD hot guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope, no. It ain't quite as cold in this case. You're the one with fur. Roots practically naked. You don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. I'm a Groot. Hey, we're all flammable. Your guns would work back there. They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I didn't. So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. <laughs> Where'd they go? What the fl 
Mark! It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star-Lord! <coughs> See? <laughs> Star-Lord! Is it just me, or did he sound a little irritated? Nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. With all these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move from home. A little cold for Lady Skullsuit. Drax seems to be doing okay. The Catathians have adapted to survive long and harsh winters. And blistering, brutal summers. <laughs> no. Our summers are quite mild and pleasant. Group, a little help? I am Groot. Here's good. the vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. With nowhere and contracts you're wrecked, all of our favorite drinking holes are gone. The Milano is still intact. Mostly. Yeah. Golden Boy is getting tortured right now. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Maklu 4 is beautiful, its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted. Well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or stupid. Falls to Captain Heatglob. <laughs> nope, still not tired of it. <laughs> I imagine Foom would sense our arrival. Rush to face us. Nice shot, Peter. Okay, we're just doing the needs at this point. Ah! <laughs> no, we're still not tired of it. Keep your eyes peeled. Smelling it. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Oh, 
my time! Find another snack, buddy! You can't eat if you don't have a head! <laughs> I'll enjoy this! Why can't we ever just meet a nice local? Perhaps they are more amenable to time. I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. Wendigo. So much for not holding a grudge! Lord off! Whoa! What do you think, Quill? They still just trying to communicate! Heads up! Did they just hurt us into their zoo? Looks more like a dinner plate! Well, let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. Worse odds! 
got the chop on us. We are on their turf. This reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area. Yeah, you think we just turned on a thumper? We should leave us alone now. Or Damn. seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, Groot, give me a boost. I'm Groot. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. You think 
those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them! They're dead! <laughs> We'd better not get stranded out here. This cold is deadly. Eh, we can always burn, Gru. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. We'll be more hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Uncharacteristically optimistic for you. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What's barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foom. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. If there was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Take this the wrong way, but how did you survive the attack? I wasn't hiding, if that's what you mean. It wasn't. I was getting supplies from our ship. Showed up just in time to see Foom devour the last of my men and fly off. At least there's not much left to pack up. Suppose there's that. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. I guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it.
Small marvel crafted. And voila! Right, people, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally, in the case of this place. We've still got to patch up the Milano. Eh, it should be all right. I quill proof the other <coughs> belly after Seknar. He's got a knack for wrecking stuff. Don't we all? Except maybe Groot. Yeah. He must think we're a bunch of psychopaths. Nah. He sees us as fertile soil he's cultivating into something beautiful. I am Groot. Oh, you did too, you big cheese ball. Guys, we're going to end this video here. It's been a pretty long one. I will pick up right here shortly. As always, guys, one love and peace out. PlayStation.